It's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com where I like to share our handmade home food from scratch and our simple farmhouse lifestyle here on Boone Street. And today I am in my living room and I am getting ready to style up my built-ins for Christmas. So this week on Wednesday, I am teaming up with a bunch of other YouTubers to share my home for Christmas and I'm very excited about it. And so I need to get some last minute things finished up and one of them is styling up this, these built-ins. So first let me tell you a little bit about this. This wall here was blank when we moved into the house. It stayed that way for about seven or eight years. So last summer, I do believe, I have a blog post about this, which I will link below. I had the idea that I wanted to utilize this space for some extra storage. So we ended up buying upper cabinets because I didn't want the depth to be too much. So these cabinets here are only about 12 inches deep. And so it doesn't take up much space in our living room at all, but it adds a lot of space for other things. And so we did upper cabinets and then just built some shelves on top of that, which I share all about on my blog. But I like to change the decor out slightly for the season. So I always keep the four baskets along the bottom and then I keep ironstone kind of displayed, just various pieces that I come across, which I find at thrift shops. I like to add subtle things for the new seasons. So for Christmas, I have grain sack stockings, which I sell in my online shop and I'll link below. But I'm gonna add those because I like the subtle red color. I have quite a bit of greenery here, some pine cones, and a little more ironstone, some of these taper candles, which I just collect these from thrift shops whenever I see them. I find these quite often. I also have this sign, which I got a few years ago now around Christmas time, and I'm not usually one for signs, but I like the lights, they twinkle at night, and so it's just nice to have. I love the way a Christmas tree and twinkly lights look at night during the season. And especially when it gets dark around 4.30, it's great to have things like that around. So I'm gonna use this in the same place I used it last year, which is just kind of as a base for the bottom part here under the TV. I have just some plain black stocking holders, which I'm gonna put up probably along the middle there. That's what I did last year as well. And I'm just gonna play around with it. So join me as I style our built-ins for Christmas. I want to make a note to you that my eucalyptus that I bought um, at, I bought this at Trader Joe's a few weeks back now is already dried out and crispy, but it's still green and nice. So this could even be kept if, you know, it's kept in a nice spot in a dry, cool area through until next Christmas as well. All right, I think my built-ins are ready to photograph and film for my upcoming Christmas home tour with my other YouTube friends. So be sure to tune in 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning for the tours. And I will be showcasing my built-ins as well as my bedroom, my dining room, and my kitchen, all decked out for Christmas here at the farmhouse. If you are new here, 
please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I share new videos every week on our handmade home, food from scratch, and our simple farmhouse lifestyle here on Boone Street. And stop by the blog farmhouseonboone.com to keep up with all the projects going on here at the farmhouse. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.